What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. We got a guest today. We got a guest today. Hey. hey. Drea, hey. how excited are we right now? I'm super excited. Like, this is I such a big deal. I am so excited. I can't even contain it. I love when we have Houston artists on the show. But this is different. It is. This is, like, legendary. Yeah. So, first of all, I have to start the show off like this. <laughs> I have to tell you this. And this is actually crazy because... <laughs> okay, so there's a long joke on the show. Because, you know, I'll be singing, hoo hoo Mm -hmm. You see that quick? Uh, you seen it? Please. So listen, <laughs> every time like we'll be talking about somebody, and I'll be like, oh, you know they used to call me, you know, Lex Blige. You know they used to call me Lex Knows. And one day I was singing one of your songs, and I was like, you know they used to call me p -Row. <laughs> and what's crazy about it is that that out of all the nicknames I've called myself, that name actually stuck. Like the listeners be calling me P Row they now. They be, they be like P Row in the house. So now y'all officially get to me Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Zero and P-Row. Zero and P-Row. We are hey. united. And it hey. feels so, so good. good. Man. So what's been up, man? How have you been, first of all? Yeah, I've been high. <laughs> I've been drunk. That's a good I've been you know. in the studio. I've been in jail. Oh. I've been in I've been in a whole lot of shit. That, that sounds like it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very exciting. You've been busy. You have yeah, been busy. I have. I have. And I'll tell you one thing, you molded this one. Cause that's why she's been singing most of the dance since she was in diapers. Oh, I was, yeah, for uh, sure. Uh. That's one of I my favorite songs. Song. I know it's you what? You hate Mo City Dawn? Why? Really? I don't want to say nothing because it's like two women and y'all going to like attack the shit out of me. No, so no, we not. not. We not. I don't even want to say nothing. Okay. Say it. You got to say it. All, that, first of all, that whole too long note. <laughs> like, it's the last song with every show. So like, damn, like six minutes. Like, I got to do this shit after I done did an hour. So it's kind of like I hate this motherfucker. When I when it come on, it's like, mm -hmm. you finna get ready to go. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then, like, I ain't got no more breath. I'm so tired. So when you hear that, mm -hmm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I be like, fuck, man. It's so, it, is, it is a very long song. But it don't make you feel good that, like, literally, I'm sure when you be singing it or when you be performing it, everybody know the words. They be, they be fucking with it. He do be singing. Like, like, I, like, know, I know. We I do get fuck that. with that, but it's like, damn, though, no, like, why y'all fuck with that, though? Man, cause that song that bitch, hard as fuck. It, it is hard though. Like it is hard. I was. I don't even remember doing it. I was high. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, why don't you just do like the first, like the first minute or something, and then just kind of? Cause they gonna you keep going. You have to on flowing just well, like the night. Let them keep going. See. I'll be like, all right, y'all, walk off stage. Y'all have how, fun. That's how Drake fucked up at Club Hush. <laughs> oh, oh, what he happened? Tried, he tried to do the song, and then midway through, he tried to just let the crowd stop yeah. it, and they ain't shit up. Like, he had to tell him, like, hey, man, look, I got to sit time mm -hmm. and all that shit. But you said like, it's your last you song. Never, yeah, it is. So if it's your it last is. song, do a minute. Girl, I got to do the whole song. let them do the I got to do the whole song, though. Yeah. No. Because yeah. he be probably lit by then. As soon as I get to so crooked it all, for so crooked yeah. all, for so I got to get going. Make a nigga want to blow the bed yeah, job. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, I, mean, I be feeling it by right. then, though. I just don't let nobody know I be feeling it. Oh, that's interesting. How old were you when you recorded Most City Don? I don't know, because I was high. You did say that. But you know what, though? I'm, I ain't going to lie. Uh, I know Rap A Lot put it out, I think, in 05 on Let the Truth Be Told. But mm -hmm. I think I actually did it. I think I actually did it in 02 and put it out on a, on a mixtape in 02. Mm. Oh, wow. So, Do you know how crazy that is to still be performing a song like 20 years later? Yeah, like on some grandfather shit. Yeah. That ain't no but grandfather. Now it's not. You were it's young, like, that's amazing to yeah. have that type of longevity with a record. Yeah, I think but... that's what artists always shoot for, though. Like, everybody wants that classic record. Mm -hmm. But nigga, knees hurt, though. <laughs> like, it's a grandfather type shit for real. Like, it's, <laughs> nigga, knees hurt. So you were talking about, like, how was your... Be talk about the beginning, like, when you were with Rap A Lot, yeah. your relationship with Pimp C and all that stuff. Like, talk about those days. Man, uh, 2003... I had a I had a murder case going on, and I definitely couldn't afford to fight it. Mm -hmm. So uh, Jay, you know, of course, you know, he came in with all that. Mm -hmm. I got everything, shit, and uh, he was like, "Shit, if I handle this for you, I'm like, all right, cool, show me where the studio is." And 
First thing I did was meet, I met Scarface and like Tila, A Ball, MJ. Wait, wait, let me get this straight before you finish. You was trading verses for a lawyer? Oh. She, I mean, that was Pac did. <laughs> I know was that's rapping right. something that you wanted to do though? Yeah, I mean, okay, I, okay, I, I, okay. I really wanted to play basketball. I wanted to play basketball. Mm -hmm. But uh, couldn't pass no physical after getting shot, so you know, you can't really, it was kind of up in the air. Right. Rapping is like, it wasn't going to be as much money at the same time. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we ain't got no record labels in Houston. Right. You yeah. know, it's just like the nigga who got a karaoke. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's your record label. A.K.A. Uh, me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, I was fucked up, though. I've been listening to Scarface all my life. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't even know what Pimp C looked like. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that nigga was earned. Like, I thought he was, like, dark skin <laughs> or something. Oh, you know what I'm Help saying? Me, Jesus. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. I okay. ain't know because I ain't seen him. <laughs> right, you know? right. And uh, but he was cool. He was, a, you know, he was the realest person I've ever fucking met besides mm. DJ Screw. Mm. That shit was dope. And uh, and of course, like I'm gonna say through the whole program, we was hiding the motherfucker. Mood. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, we was out in the motherfucker. So when you was working with Jay Prince, right? Because we heard, is it true that he didn't like your name at first? He didn't. So like, why he, he didn't, didn't like it? Well, I mean, my shit is zero. Like, so when I went to him in 1998 with my first project, I walked in and I let him hear a couple of songs mm -hmm. off of it. And he was like, this shit jamming, but... I don't want to associate my, my myself with a nigga that called himself nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to pass. Mm -hmm. It was like a it was like a fucked up Shark Tank moment. Like yeah. we ain't giving you no money. <laughs> right. You know, fuck your little idea. Right. So I left and uh I just started doing my own thing. He came back and I guess I like I made a little noise. Mm -hmm. So by two thousand, the end of two thousand two, he came looking for me, like, man, I'm looking for a nigga named Zero. I'm like, Oh, I know, looking that's for right. me now. Yeah, okay. I can keep I guess I can keep the name now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Keep it. Yeah, keep it. Okay, cause I feel like you know, when I was in high school, it was like Houston was super popping. Yeah, it yeah. was. Like, yeah. super popping. Everybody wanted to move to Houston. You know, mm -hmm. it was like the still tipping days. Yeah. Right. And um, how do you feel about the Houston music scene then versus now? Well, I mean, um, I think the, the, the scene now is more so a conglomerate of, of music from everywhere. That mm -hmm. was a good word. Yeah, I, I use one big word a week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. You got the app on your phone? I love I mean, that. You know, <laughs> you know I, I, I listen to some morning shows I here know, and there. That's right. I learn words as I go. <laughs> right. You got to have it in like, this vocabulary. Yeah, yeah. Like, to be honest, like, uh, it's a lot of, I hear a lot of New York in Houston right now. I hear mm. a lot of Atlanta in Houston right mm. now. Like, Houston is like a, you know, it's that boiling pot that's got everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, back then, all you heard in Houston when we was doing it, like, I was different. It was the manhole up, serving my cup, you know, still mm -hmm. tipping like how you were saying. When Screwed I be freestyling, I still say manhole up before I start. You have Man. to. You got to tell It's like embedded up. in us. We can't help it. Yeah. And like, that shit just made me think about Paul Wall every time I hear it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Shout out to Shout Paul, out to Paul yeah. Wall. We, we had him on the show, show too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about the Houston music scene like now? Like, who are your artists that you feel like? I mean, outside of the obvious, you know, the Megan Thee Stallion, outside right, of Lizzo, right. outside of Beyonce, Don Tolliver, Travis Scott, but like, yeah. who in Houston is like the people that you be like, okay, they they up next or they not getting enough attention or? Uh, I like I like what Sauce Walker is doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like what I like what uh what Twin Sanchez is doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, propane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, man, uh, all the younger cat, and I mean, I really don't rock with nothing but uh, the Sauce Twins and Propane. Mm -hmm. But if I had to keep going, I would probably have to say my boy uh, Bleeder. You know, free my boy Bleeder. He's a uh, he ain't quite old, but he ain't quite young. Either. Guess, <laughs> he ain't you know, a young call him like, Yeah, he he you know he 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 mid seasoned. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't really listen to. 
I be so that's listening your to me. two go-tos. I yeah, like that. Yeah, I be listening to me. Yeah. I like that. That's what you supposed to do. I mean, well, you do. have a very extensive catalog. Uh, yeah. yeah. If, say it now. He do. He it really is. do. Yeah, it's like that when you got some extensive bills. You got to yeah. keep going. <laughs> you got to keep going. You got to keep going. So yeah. you said uh, Sauce Walker and Propane. Now, I know y'all have a song together called H-Town. Right, How did right. that come out? Because it's like going crazy. Man. Like, people really love that song. Propane will just text me sometime and be like, Man, bring your old ass to the studio. I'm weak. <laughs> so shit, I go to the studio. I will pull up, or he'll pull up to my shit and uh record. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll catch a uh, sauce wall, get Sugar Hill or something like that, and just mm -hmm. work. But I mean, it, it really just be on some. This is what we do every day. Right. So you said that most of you done is your least favorite song. <laughs> it's my least. It's my least. I have a few favorite songs from you, but I want to know what's your favorite song to perform. I don't, I don't have. You don't have one. To you perform, I one. like I like performing the emotional shit. Because mm. I like looking out and, and seeing my crowd go through mood swings and shit. Mm. It be kind of funny, but it be kind of real to see a Not motherfucker. Not funny. Now, it, it do be funny to see a motherfucker just ready to whoop everything <laughs> and uh -huh. then he crying. <laughs> and then he baptizing people. And yeah. then he, you know, then he, I don't know, it's just, because I be going through them same emotions when I perform. Right. Yeah. I just did a, a retarded ass performance last weekend and, and uh, I damn near, I, I, man, I seen some people crying in that motherfucker. That shit made me feel fucked up. I like, I shouldn't have did this song, but. You know what's crazy, though? Which song I, was it? It was uh, Joy. I did Joy. I did Help Me Please. I did Happy Alone. I love Help Me Please. Oh, yeah. Lord. Help I me do. Please I know Happy No Alone. Help. That's yeah. my song, too. Yeah, Rain. I did. Yeah, I did No One Help, D. too. We can go on. One, One D. Yeah, we yeah. can. <laughs> we can keep. <laughs> We but no, this is, it's crazy because, you know, obviously, From the south. I didn't have to do a lot of research, but I was doing my research on you and stuff, and it's crazy because I found, like, I was on Facebook, and I found this Facebook group, and they're called The Row Head. Right. Oh, for real? Yes. Right. It's a, And it's, I'm not saying, like, oh, it's like a little, it's, like, it's like a thousands cult. and yeah. thousands and yeah. thousands of people. Yeah. yeah. And they are, like, Shout and I was just, the row heads. yes, yeah. I'm scrolling. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's really crazy. Like, he has a definite, like, cult following for sure. Oh, for sure. And people up north, like, my when my best friend used to live in New York and I used to go to New York all the time, I was really surprised to find out how many people in New York just really love, like, Houston music, mm. like, screwed and Chopped and all of our artists and stuff. Because it was a lot of people out there in New York who was, like, big fans of Zero too. Do you feel like Chopped and Screwed is, like, out of style? Man, to me, man, Screw died a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So to me, all that shit went in the box with him. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't nobody doing it like him, not to discredit anybody else or taking mm -hmm. nothing away from anybody, but it was just a different feeling when he did it. So you still got slowed and chopped right now. Like, if some people doing some cool mixes. Mm -hmm. You know, but it, ain't uh, that. it ain't that. I never, I like I said on here, in front of, However, a million, million motherfuckers watching You know, the here. whole Houston about to tune they in. Are. Oh, that's cool. I don't care. <laughs> you know we mean? all from the age. Yeah. Well, like, well, except for Licks. I lived in Houston for 10 years. <laughs> but she, I'm from Fruit City, <laughs> we baby. Adop we've adopted you. Uh, the most city dawn. I'm the Fruit City dawn. Do you know they call me the dawn? They call her I'm the Fruit City Dawn. I got locked up in Orange. Damn. You got locked up in Orange? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, how was really that? Huh? How was that? It was some big ass leg quarters when I was eating chicken back then. Leg? You know oh, <laughs> they had some big ass leg quarters in that motherfucker. Oh, Orange kind of jail. Man. I what feel like doing jail probably miserable. Jail is miserable, period. But I feel like in smaller towns, it gotta be even worse. What were you doing in Orange? Just out of Gee, curiosity. Just trying to pass through that motherfucker and then pass. Oh. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't make it. Damn. I ain't make it. That is crazy as hell. I make it all the time now. Nah, shit, I made it on the way here. Shit. <laughs> you drove here? I just got in. I just pulled up. Damn. I was like, man, if I leave it <laughs> two, I'm going to be there roughly at two. Oh was this like oh your first time driving to Atlanta, or do you normally fly? Nah, I, I, what I'm going to fly for? I, I can't stop and fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I so drive. you like, you one of those people who you I like road stop in, I want to stop in Mississippi. Hey, man, look, I got these. I got these. I got... Hey, you know, I got everything for sale. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to stop through Lake Charles. I want to stop through Appaloosa, Baton Rouge, all that shit. We know you stop love Lake Charles. No, you know, I don't eat nothing you wrong. Don't eat I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't. 
I'm good on it. No, why you play? Have though? you ever tried it though, or are you just like just the way it look? You ain't fucking. So with if it. I, if it's like this here, yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah, but nah. <laughs> Let alone. I'm okay, good. so I want to get into our first topic because, like you said, when you perform for your uh, oh, first of all, pause because it's drinks and did it again. We got a, we got Ask time Ty, making us drink today. What we drinking today? Ty, what are we drinking today? Because you see, I was about to <laughs> go ahead, but yes, Ty, let us know what we drinking. All right, well, today in honor of Zero, we have the Most City Don, and I know it's not your Period. favorite song, Ooh. but this drink gonna get you right, okay? Mm -hmm. So this That's one what I'm we the Most. Uh -huh. The Most City Dawn. So this one has <laughs> some vodka good. for you, some tequila for Drea, and then we have some grapefruit juice, some lime juice, some agave, and I topped it off with a little Topo Chico. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Jory Nicole. And we are here to talk to y'all about BetterHelp.com. Yes, y'all know how much we love BetterHelp. I feel like we be beating it into y'all head. Mm -hmm. At this point, you have to go to therapy. Like, it's something that is very needed these days, mm -hmm. I think, with everything going on in the world. And BetterHelp is definitely one of the easiest places to get the help that you need because you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Yep. And it's super convenient. Yes. And it can fit around your schedule. Yes, I feel like we all need to grow as people you always want to continuously grow even if you're in a good place in your life I feel like a lot of people think therapy is just if you're going through something mm -hmm. you know like if you're just trying to elevate yourself think outside the box whatever you're going through better help and therapy go hand in hand and they're going to help you reach your goals right and they make it easy to switch you know therapists mm -hmm. because finding a good therapist is hard too you know what I'm saying so what you're going to do is go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds that's better h-e-l-p.com backslash poor minds and you're going to get 10% off of your first month y'all it's super affordable trust me we wouldn't send y'all here if it was too expensive so go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds and get your therapy on period What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P, and I have a very special announcement. Well, I already announced it, but I'm gonna let y'all know again. We are going on tour. It's starting in June, y'all. Look, we announcing it extra early so y'all got time to get your tickets. No excuses. We got LA, Philly, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston. Now, listen to me, because I know how y'all get. We are still adding dates. I repeat, we are still adding dates, but if you see your city right now, go ahead and get your tickets. If you don't see your city, don't worry. We still coming, okay? So make sure y'all go to www.poorminds.com and get y'all VIP meet and greets. We all fly, poo. Very delicious. Got Very nice delicious. Fresh you orange, like it? Refreshing. Motherfucker, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was in there like swim well. <laughs> Man, right. one thing yeah. about it, we ain't had not one person that came on the show that complained about Ty drinks nah, yet. I don't yes. think so. I think Ty she be has, doing honestly, her thing. me and Dre, when we yeah. brainstorm about things we want to add to the show, Ty was the chef's kiss. Yeah. I ain't gonna Definitely lie. Definitely the perfect shot. edition. Anybody oh. that smile like that, they serious with that shit. <laughs> Ooh, wait. I know I'm that's you. right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thanks, So, we're gonna get into our first topic because you were talking about how you like, you know, you be performing and you see people going through their emotions. Mm -hmm. Right. So, first of all, let me ask you this. Do you consider yourself an emotional person? Yeah. You emotional. You be in your feelings. Yeah, yeah, I be in my feelings. So how do you know? Because I feel like that be the problem. A lot of people don't know how to function with emotions versus logic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you know when it's time to, like, cut off a friend? Because you said ain't no such thing as friends, only associates. Right. Do you still so, feel that way? Of course. Did you make, was that an emotional decision or was it logical? No, it's logical. I don't make no emotional decision. Okay. Like, to be an emotional person... I mean, that's cool, but I mean, you fucking up when you act on your emotions, so you mm. gotta Every act time. on logic. Yeah. That be my problem. And yeah. see, I'm logical. I'm more logical than emotional, yeah. but I am emotional too. You know what, yeah. I'll say this. I'm a logical person when it comes to certain people. Yeah. But it be certain people that just really know how to push my buttons, and I just, mm -hmm. I, every time, it gets yeah. to me every yeah. time. I used to be like that. So how did you how did you fix it? School me, Zero, you just help gotta me. Just, you just gotta stay logic. Mm. Because, I mean, logic gonna let you know if you forgive these sap suckers, some of them are bitches, they gonna do it again. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Points were made. Then if you, you know, you can't get so upset, you go fuck with the paint. Mm. Jasmine Sullivan in the window. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't need that before. Yeah. I haven't seen like, there yet. It's so simple to just turn your back on a motherfucker. That hurt worse. Mm. I mean, shit, I can go put some new paint on my car. 
I can go to safelight.com and get a new windshield. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you done did it before. Because he knew the well. He gave exactly the exact well sighted I mean, everything. Just, I'm just speaking logically, you know what I'm saying? Because I know where to get that shit from. Right. But, yeah, you can't act on, you know, like like even with women, like, y'all, shit. Ooh, I ain't going to even say nothing. Y'all emotions, but it's some hard ass niggas like that too. Yeah, it is. So for sure. But you gotta just, you know what? It's just simpler to stop fucking with a person or leave mm -hmm. a situation alone. Mm -hmm. Cause you gonna end up looking like a seventh grader, and uh, if you ain't really a seventh grader, it ain't no shit. You it ain't no kudos you can get out of that shit. Right. But I think in theory, that shit sound good. But it's hard. But when people be having you fucked up, it's easier hey, said than done to look, just though, walk away. You if know? somebody exactly. if somebody got you fucked up though, mm -hmm. you gotta be there. Yeah. For them to have you continuously fucked up. So if you ain't there no more, that's true. They fucking with themselves, looking like an idiot. Okay, true. Well, that true. is true, you but how do you get to that point to detach? Because I think they come with when maturity. You, when you when you learn how to when you went when you wake up and be like, I wasn't sure about this shit yesterday, but today I'm sure I'm that bitch or mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm that nigga. Mm -hmm. I like that. So who the fuck is gonna validate your you-ness for you? Mm -hmm. but right. You. So why the fuck you gonna fuck with somebody? Right. Why the fuck you gonna let somebody play on your top like that? Now, I do believe, like like you said, because you were like, yesterday you was feeling like, mm, but today, I feel I've learned that I don't think it takes time to like, oh, I got to get over it. It just needs time. No, mm -hmm. I really feel like you can wake up one morning and be like, yeah. hey, this is what I'm on today and I'm over it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I feel like anytime I've ever walked away from a situation, that's how quickly I made the decision. Mm -hmm. It was like, Yesterday, I was kind of sad about it. And today, I really yeah. woke up and was like, I'm done with this shit. I'm not doing it no right. more. I'm not now dealing see, with it. That's the, and that's the formula. You, 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 you fucked up the first day. Mm -hmm. While you sleep, you unmeeting that motherfucker mm -hmm. right now. Facts. Then when you wake up, it's like, I don't even remember the motherfucking name. Yeah. You be off it. But I also shit. just think that that's something that a lot of people, like, some, well, not a lot of people, but some people just really got that shit in them. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like you probably a person who just got that shit in you. I have to and learn I feel it. like I do too. I have to I, learn it. You think so? But I, I don't think learn. everybody can learn it. it. I think some good. people are just so empathetic, they forgive people all gonna, the time. I ain't gonna even say they empathetic. I'm gonna just say a whole lot of people like bullshit. Mm. Used I can to... remember a time in my life when I was addicted to drama. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, hey, what's up, bro? What you mean, what's up? Mm, now, and nigga was just really speaking. It yeah. wasn't on no gang shit or like, nigga, like, hey, hey, what's popping? Hey, what, what? Nah, it was just, hey, what's up? You doing all right? Well, I got to be doing all right. <laughs> like, you know, nigga was addicted to some, you know? No, can I say something real quick? I used to work at TGI Fridays in Pearland, Texas. Uh, and you used to come up there and or you used to order the sizzling chicken. I remember this. <laughs> Not to remember his order. I remember his order. You saw that with me? And boy, maybe, I don't know what, maybe I'm lying. I was, maybe I lied. I'm a, I'm a liar. I but you know. came up there a few times. <laughs> he said, I don't remember no every, I remember cheese. every time you would come up there, about, like everybody would be like, oh my God, y'all zero in the front. He got his to go. You wouldn't sit down. You would get a to go order. Yeah. Like yeah, it would be yeah. some pickup shit. And every time you would just come in and you were just like, not mean, but you was just I'm not just, a, I'm reserved. You're very reserved. I'm very you're like, stiff. Huh? Can I, you stiff. You nah, stiff. This is no. You stiff. I ain't gonna stiff. even say it's stiff. It's just, man, I don't know who fuck with me. I don't walk around this bitch like I'm a rapper. Yeah. I'm a nigga from Ridgemont, Texas, mm. from Mo City. Ain't nothing more spectacular about me than a nigga that's ordering wings with no seasoning. Right. We the same person. I just got a cooler job. Yeah. Right. So I'm not gonna walk around. I mean, I catch people looking at me sometimes like. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck you looking at? Because <laughs> I forget, like... I'm, I'm zero. I can't do that. I forget it. Because I'm like, that's just a job to me. I think you don't have friends because you're mean. You be talking about people be doing you wrong. You're the mean one. I ain't mean. I'm just... I'm just... I'm really who I say I am on that music. No, yeah. you is a little mean because I always <laughs> wanted to ask you this. I feel like I hate you was about one specific person. I said Thank you for bringing it. that up. You did? Yeah, I said her name in it. Okay, we ain't gonna ask you to say no, that. No, we don't. No, we, but, I'm gonna just go listen to the but song. But I'm glad yeah, you yeah. brought but, that up. Go but ahead. But yeah, I felt like it was about one specific person, and yeah. I always felt like I would hate to be that bitch. Bro. Man. Because you went in on her, and man, that song man. was so popular, like everybody yes, used to be singing I, that shit. And I, so how many, how many times <laughs> you had this? trying to do all that. That situation where... He was in it. 
I had to, because I mean, because she was in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got this situation where it's like, okay. Oh, I want the mic to. So it's another bitch right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you done moved out. Yeah. Mm. So it could be a whole, it could, it could be a whole nother bitch right here. Mm-hmm. And you pop up over there like, I don't know if y'all seen the video of that shit. I seen yes. it back in the day. That was really my house. We really, like, I'm really from Houston yeah, for real. Like, yeah. I seen it. <laughs> so that was really my house in Cattails. Yeah. Mm. And that was really my jury, and that was really what happened. Mm -hmm. You come over there, and you see me over here with another chick after you done moved out and left me. So you call the police and tell the police I beat you up. Yeah. The police come and, like, hey, bro, I'm not going to take you to jail. But I'm gonna handcuff you and take you away from here. Mm. So he can't handcuff me and take me away. We go down the street. Here come the the little the budget truck. The movie. You think man? I'm going? Yeah, you think I'm going to jail? You take all my. I'm talking about the refrigerator. Oh my god! My phone, my my everything that happened in the video. That's what that really was happened. Real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm like, what do I do after that? Like. I don't want to go to jail for five years. So I'm right. like, Mike Dean was like, man, bro, what's up? I'm like, shit, niggas, an echo in my crib, and it ain't because it's big. It's because all the shit is gone. Mm. Yeah. You want to do a song about it? Yeah, make me some sad, retarded, <laughs> hateful shit. <laughs> and by the time I pulled up, he had that shit going, and I mean, that's how that song got built. But, but that's me, what I loved about your music, though. It was I real. Like it was the music that you would listen to when you would be like, this nigga got let me, me fucked, fucked up. Exactly. This bitch got but me fucked up. Let me, Fuck everybody. Let me be honest, yep. though. If yep. I'm your new girl, I'm going to feel some type of way that you're making a song about your old bitch, because I feel like if you have hate for somebody, it's low-key still some love there. Nah, it's just because you took out my shit. Okay, so it and wasn't, then, no, like, you didn't have feelings th for her. I don't really think if you, I mean, not after you took out my shit. Okay. And then, like, this song made millions of dollars. Yeah. So I don't think you'd be too mad spending that shit with me. Mm -hmm. Points were made. Right. You feel Good me? Point. That's That's <laughs> that old, old, old. She the one that's a deal. Right. Uh, right. So how, how, are, how is your relationship with the young lady that you wrote up that song about with today? We don't hate each other. Well, I don't know how she feel about me. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that shit made me a lot of money. Yeah. So you, oh, you can't hate like. It's like, I, I mean. Love, I love, so it's not I, I hate the, you, bitch. I love the fuck out of her. <laughs> right. It's not I hate you, bitch. It's thank you, bitch. <laughs> right. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't going to call her no bitch no more. I mean, oh, that is. That gross. is my. Yeah. That is my, uh, my little girl mama. Oh. But at the same time, like, the shit happened. Mm -hmm. and, and me, I'm going to talk about what happened to me. Because, I mean, that's my. That's my niche. That's your that's And you your can truth. talk about your experiences. Like, exactly. I feel like even with us having a podcast, that's kind of like a similar situation because, you know, I think a lot of the time people that we know and people that we dated and stuff like that don't want us to talk about stuff on the podcast. Shit, but it's like, I can to. talk about what I you want to talk Because you be rapping about me or you be talking about me on whenever you do whatever you, know you what do. But just because these are my these are my experiences, nobody can tell you how you could feel. That's why you got to do it. Express yourself. That's why y'all got to do it. Mm -hmm. All the motherfucker pointed at y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you got to talk to him. But I also feel like with our platform, like sometimes it's like, like you said, when you get in the booth, it's like therapy for you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you're getting things off your chest. Like when I'm sitting here with Drea and me and her are talking, this is literally like we started this show because we were having girl talk. And it's like, it's therapy for me to talk to my friend. We were literally on the phone the other night for what, five hours? Mm -hmm. We were on the phone today for three hours before we got here. So it's yeah. therapy for me to talk to my girl. But it's cool that I get to do it in front of other people because now mm -hmm. I can get other people's opinion. Some of y'all people be make trash. A, and Shut and the make fuck a up. Cool. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and make a little Don't cool. leave that part out. But really? I want to talk about this real quick before we move on because, you know, we're talking about like relationships. So talk about the pressures of a relationship and being a public figure because I do feel like. Like sometimes it's like it's a difference between you being private and like hiding somebody. Yeah. So how is it for you like dating? Well, I mean, everybody think you trying to hide them. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, everybody go through that. Uh, why you don't take me in? Take me like I don't want to be on the shade room, bitch. I don't want to be uh like in everybody's look. Oh, is that his look? Like mm -hmm. it's called a private life for a reason because mm -hmm. you keep that motherfucker private. Right. So if you want to say I'm hiding you, I am hiding you. Ooh. And I'm trying to hide you because okay. I'm trying to have a good time with you. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as I parade you around this motherfucker, all your ex niggas, mm -hmm. all my ex bitches, they in your inbox. Mm -hmm. All your ex niggas just, bitch ass nigga, that's still my put. Well, go get it then. 
Mm. But I mean, like, it's because it's so stupid out here in the world right mm. now. Right. I so, agree so with it's that. like, I'm not hiding you from them. I'm hiding them from you. Right, right. You be trying to protect people. Because I mean, like, man, come on, man. We're, I don't know no woman that's not going to believe anything she fucking hears with no investigation. I'm sorry. Right. In my walk of life, Motherfucker just, nigga, the sky orange is red. Mm -hmm. Bitch ass nigga, he just told me the sky was red. Right. You ain't gonna even look up and check. <laughs> right. So I mean, like, I ain't got time for that shit. I just like, you know what? Let's go over here to the private room. Mm. I ain't going out unless we go into the private room. Don't be taking no motherfucking, I ain't taking no motherfucking, I'm like, fuck it. Let's just have our own paradise in the midst of all the bullshit. Right. You ain't gotta publicize everything we do. I agree. That's why Denzel shit been so solid all this time. Mm. Paul holds it nigga. down, huh? But do you feel like that's maybe, like, do you feel like, because do you feel like you ever, like, found the one yet? Or do you feel like you found your soulmate? Ain't soul no such mate? thing. You don't think you, nah, you don't think it's a not. such thing oh, as soulmate? No. Why not? not? I don't even think people are really supposed to be together because they ain't. But you don't feel like it's He got somebody. a whole chain called One D. You know how he feel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, but it's like you don't feel like it's somebody on the earth that's for everybody. Like, you don't think nah. it's one woman out there that nah. is specifically for you and that's who nah. you're supposed to be with. I know that ain't the, I know that ain't the case. But Zero, wow. life is hard. Life is not... I truly believe life is not meant to navigate by yourself. I agree. Like, no, you it's not. It's not meant to ma navigate by yourself, but it ain't no one per person specifically made for you. Mm. Mm. When you get into your, whatever your, I guess we'll call this your cruise control of life, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna never gonna, you're never gonna get the person that you dreamed up. You know, like a lot of people be having like this dream guy, this dream girl. Right. You gonna get who you can tolerate. I think you always gonna have to compromise. To That's why I say yeah, you're gonna get to compromise, But I think you can get so close. And, it, but you and, know and what the, the crazy little stuff part that is? they don't meet, it don't even matter. But like, but to a woman, all that shit matter. It don't matter to a man. We take y'all bummy as fuck. <gasps> we would, Hold on, no. We of us, don't, but bitches be taking don't. niggas bummy as exactly. fuck. Exactly. That's, no, like, that's a like, lie. They be niggas, taking care of niggas. Niggas and men take y'all not niggas an empty and empty coin purse. <laughs> niggas and men. No, women, you have it's to realize, it'd be more women taking care of their niggas. Why do you think there's a whole joke of, oh, uh, I drop her off to work and I take her car all day? Well, I disagree. I don't think yeah. it's more women yeah, taking care either. of men than it is men either. taking care of but women. I think but that, I think that women are out here doing it. But I think it. I think, yeah. I think y'all y'all come with like a, like a washing machine instructions. Ooh. Us, we just come. Mm. We just here because we like you. Mm. Y'all like us. But you got to do this. You got to do this. You can't do this. Mm -hmm. You, you can't do this and rules. you can't do this. Yeah, it, with rule books. And that's why I'm like, like it'll, it'll, it'll never be an even playing field. Right. I can understand why you yeah. think that. Yeah. But, but yeah. Oh. oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say, yeah, like, what I was going to ask is, like, I don't know. Like, do you feel like if you found, that's why I was asking you, do you believe in soulmates and stuff? Because, like, if you found the right person, do you feel like your perspective on, like, being out with somebody or not wanting to be nah. seen with them would change? Nah, because, I mean, I'm not trying to not be seen with them because of them. Yeah. I'm trying to not be seen with them because every situation I've had where I seen you with this and I seen... Man, I'm not finna be fighting that shit. Right. I'm not... I like, and at the end of the day, I don't care. Because mm. it's like... So, because I'm... I got a cool job. You telling me I can't... I can't do songs with female artists. Ooh. I can't no, be out far. here mingling with her. Like, when you show me a receipt for my ass that you paid for... Maybe we can talk about that. But you don't think that's just certain type of women? Because I do think it's nah. women out there who not going to get nah. jealous that you doing a song with an artist. Nah. When I tell mm. you, like, okay, but let mm. me ask you this, though. So with that being said, do you think it's easier to date somebody, like, in the industry? When I say industry, I mean, like, anybody that's a creative. Actress, singer. Well, I mean, that depends on who you're messing with. Yeah. Because, I mean, when I did try to do that, like, you know, like, a lot of people just still want to be seen. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be seen. Like, right. like, like, even coming here the last time I came to come do the other show, mm -hmm. like, you know, my partner's in the car with Alice. Yeah, we finna go to, hey, man, shut up. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up. Like, hey, man, you can't always wake up a sleeping giant all the time. Let motherfuckers stay asleep mm -hmm. so they need to be woke. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like keep some privacy. Like, it's how, how motherfuckers get killed and shit. Yeah, man, we over here on 5th and Main. Yeah. Then you wonder why everybody on 5th and Main did. Right. It's crazy because we were talking about that this morning because I just uh, deactivated my Twitter 
And I'm just taking a whole, like, Me social too. media break because... And I actually archived a lot of stuff on my page of me just kind of being, like, you know, my hangout spots, things that I've um, received and bought because I just feel like people be watching you and people have evil intentions. And yeah. I feel like... I don't have nothing to prove to nobody at this point. Like, y'all mm -hmm. know what the fuck going on. I don't have nothing to prove to people. Mm -hmm. So I do agree with you on that. I think once you reach um, a certain vibration and you get a little higher and you find the things that truly make you happy and what matters, because yeah. it's a difference between hiding somebody because you're trying to be sneaky and versus just protecting your peace yeah. to be happy. When you're protecting your peace, like, man, it's because I know. You like, already know what's going on. Because I get the same shit in my DM that a woman would get. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm just letting you know I had your bitch last night. Oh, you know, hey man, her doggy style mean, and I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm really? Doing? Oh my God. Doggy style is Dre, yeah. But this is why yeah. I say it's crazy because. So but when you keep your business to yourself, don't nobody know. Don't nobody with know. You. Yeah. But I will say this. this but is... your other partner gonna be like, this whole ass nigga hiding me. Right. I'm like really, really, I am hiding you. Cause these niggas is like wolves. Mm -hmm. Like these bitches is like wolves on me. Like, hey man, like. I'm not hiding you. I'm trying to make this shit have duration. Right. That's what I'm trying but to do. But I will yeah. say, like, men are messy sense. as fuck. So I say all this to that say, is so crazy. if you're like, if you're a woman and you used to have an ex or anything, are you? and you're somebody who, especially if you're somebody who has, you know, your shit together, you know, mm -hmm. you a good looking woman, you, you know, you making money, whatever, X, Y, Z, Men are gonna hate, especially if they're your ex. So mm -hmm. I literally, even if they not your ex, even they, if, if they've been around, I literally make it a purpose to not talk to people who've ever known each other in the same circle. Of I don't course, want nobody yeah. to get no ideas because let me tell you something. I hate to be embarrassed. And one thing I will say, if I'm dealing with a man, ain't nobody ever gonna bring nothing to your front, mm -hmm. front door about me, never. Yeah. Like, that's how I be moving now because I see, because I done had stuff brought to my front, front door. And me at this level with what, I, what I'm doing, like you said, that's why I just be like, low key. One deep. You got to be low key. But, you know, I've always believed in it. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to be low key with how you move. Like, and you can't be out here fucking with people who might potentially know each other. Because then shit be getting messy and it do become like a, a weird it ass rivalry. Thing. Yes, type it does. Of thing. And I'm not going to say like, yeah, did I do that when I was younger? Of yeah. course, like shit happens. But now, me now? Mm-mm. Mm. So before we move on, you said ain't no such thing as friends, only associates. We are friends. We're not associates at this point. Well, hey, you know. <laughs> he probably, he, he like, you hoes is associates. <laughs> we ain't, he gonna leave. We ain't never gonna hear from t <laughs> <again. laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Drea Nicole. Now, listen, this is for all small business owners. Y'all need to listen up because we have something special for you, child. Yes. I, as a small business owner myself, I use ShipStation for my business, MuseBeautyCollection.com. You know, I had to plug that in real quick. <laughs> but yes, um, and I love the discounts that I get from it. I get discounts on USPS and UPS shipping. Yes, 98% of companies that use ShipStation stick with it for a year and become customers for life. I'm telling y'all, it's so easy. It gives you access to discounts up to 84% off with USPS and UPS rates. Mm -hmm. Everything, like if you ship from Amazon, Etsy, whatever you sell online, Shopify, whatever you use, mm -hmm. ShipStation is going to help you get there from tracking, all that good stuff. Y'all know the hardest thing about running a company is making sure your customers get their things on time and they want to track their packages. ShipStation makes it so easy, y'all. I'm telling you. So if you're thinking of starting an e-commerce business, this is going to be for you. And this is going to help with your overhead, y'all. We're giving y'all 60 days for free. We got a code, y'all. So what you're going to do is go to ShipStation.com and use code PoorMinds. That's ShipStation.com. Use code PoorMinds. You're going to get 60 days free free y'all that's a big deal for a small business y'all know how them overhead get them prices get so i'm telling y'all mm -hmm. go to shipstation.com use code poor minds and watch how your business flourish 
What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex T. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And I got some really good news for y'all. Yes, period, y'all. We are about to revamp our whole Patreon. Yes. We got so much new shit coming soon for y'all. Like, we about to be doing challenges. We about to be doing vlogs. Mm -hmm. We really about to be dropping a lot of exclusive content for y'all. So, if one episode a week is not enough, y'all about to get some more content on Patreon. Yes, y'all be saying, oh, make the episodes longer. I need twice a week. Well, this is your opportunity to see us twice a week. And also, you kind of get, you're going to get a look into our lives mm -hmm. and know us on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all sign up at patreon.com backslash poor mind. Sign up today. There's different tiers. So if you want audio only, you can just listen. If you want video and audio, we have that too. And also we have a top, top tier where you get exclusive access to merch, shows, all that good mm -hmm. stuff. So go to patreon.com backslash poor minds and sign up today. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we are all about wellness. We I are. I we're on a wellness journey. Mm -hmm. So Dipsy is going to be the app that helps you start that wellness journey, okay? Yes. When I like to relax and unwind when I'm at my house chilling, mm -hmm. I definitely love to listen to Dipsy because they have so many short and sexy audio stories that just help you, you know, relax, relax. and refresh yourself. Yes. They also have um, wellness things. Mm -hmm. They have sleep stories whatever you need to do i know one thing about me i overthink so it's hard for me to fall asleep at night so if that is your problem i'm telling you dipsy is going to work you just press play it's going to tell you a little sleep story next thing you know it's eight o'clock in the morning and it's time to get ready for work right and you got a good night's rest okay yes so for listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial. All you have to do is go to dipsystories.com slash poor minds. That's the dipsystories.com slash poor minds and get an extended 30-day free trial. Period. So now we gon' get, get into the bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. 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 So, get it spicy, Drea. Get my drink. Tiny little like a drink. Have, we both do. I have a. I have a you plethora of songs by you that I love. She yeah. gonna use the big words. That's big why you shot me earlier because Drea gonna use them words. Okay. I'll be on dictionary.com every time we record. Okay, okay. <laughs> you have a plethora of songs I that do. I love. Um, one of my favorite songs back in the day was Hit Her With The Mule. I knew it was coming. Yeah. That's the reason why these bras be tripping. Don't yeah. want me to be with no other women. Because I, I hit her with the mute. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> that used to be my song. But, you know, we have a bed segment every week. And I really wanted to talk about that for the bed. You know, like, what does it mean to, to hit, hit her the with woman. the mule? Yeah. And what qualifies one to have a, a mule? mule? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know what qualifies one. <laughs> well, you, but, but well, you, you, me, you. Like, I don't want to say that on here. Okay. But uh, <laughs> he thinking of something. I'm so, trying. I'm trying not to be as <laughs> fucked up as I used to be. Uh, you but can like, be. This is poor my. I mean, eyes, yes. Like, I mean, you, basically, you said you know what we be. You know how we are. You know I, how I, we I know get down. Crazy. This is light work. But I'm just saying, like, you know, when you get them with the mule, let's just like. Bitch not finna go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Cause you like, you all the way up in there and then you to the side and you up in there some more type shit. You up in there. So right, yeah. if you hit them with, the, with mule, the mule. Well, I mean like, I mean you should be if, you, if you're if you over a certain age. But I mean, hey, everybody ain't so lucky, but. Nah, cause I feel like it be girls who be like 30 plus, 30, 30 plus, and they ain't been yeah, hit with yeah. the mule. No, yeah, they ain't been hit with the mule. Cause you know what, now that I think about it, the mule is low key like some voodoo. It is. If it's you get hit with the mule. It's low key voodoo dick. He it just is gave voodoo, it a voodoo dick. Name. The mule is, so the mule is voodoo dick technically. Cause like if you hit, if you hit somebody with the mule and they not fucking with nobody else, that's voodoo. Yeah. That's a form of voodoo. I mean, nigga just know your curve. Mm. Nigga just know your curve, you know. Some of y'all got a curve, some of y'all got a straightaway. Like, I mean, <laughs> if you can hit them both, then you ain't got shit to worry about. There it is. It's I, crazy. I, too, have been hit with the mule. That's what I... It really <laughs> just hit. <laughs> I, I, that's what I said. I just I, had... I just had a... <laughs> 
zero. <laughs> For real? <laughs> I just... I had, I just had a revelation. She too didn't be here with that hoe. Yes. Wow. I mean, that's why when you were saying that, it's like, oh, she ain't going nowhere. Because I'm like, damn. Because you know, sometimes you be in a situation and you were like, wow. Why can't I just leave? Why can't I just walk away? Because he you hit can. you with them. Because you... I mean, because you're going to walk away. Mm, and this other nigga finna right treat you good than a bitch. But he ain't got the mule. But he, you know. <laughs> he don't got the mule. Then you go back over there, get your wig snatched off, oh and my then. God. And then use that hoe to wipe up everything. Oh, use your wig the, to wipe it up. Not the wig that, mop. Yeah, the wig mop. Oh Lord, that yeah. makes sense though. Wig. No, that that definitely. So, makes but a let lot me ask sense. you this though: Have you ever hit somebody with a mule who you shouldn't have hit with a mule and you regretted it? Yeah. Cause bitches get crazy after they get crazy after getting hit with the mule. Everybody. Cause I don't want to be hit by the mule. The worst. The worst I thing. Why do you keep saying with it the like mule? that? Because that's saying. how they're having to do it. Because I hit her with the mute. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> See, it ain't good all the time because you might have a real bad part of a, I guess you call it the red shower. Mm. Like, you can't go too deep because a lot of y'all wild don't be right. Ooh. What's the red shower? I, you, I mean, like, he you, getting into Game it, of Thrones. I'm just the saying. Red wedding. It's getting <laughs> served. I'm just Shit saying, like, serves. you go too hard and it's red all on the boulevard. Oh, no. And he was fucking thirsty. That's, 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 you know. I mean, I'm just saying, okay. That's yeah. the worst. Okay. That's okay. worse than having, a, than having a woman crazy about you. Like, you got to wash your sheets and. Then you probably gotta throw them hoes away. They might be you expensive. It'd be, it be voodoo. Then, you know, everybody don't just wanna just cover up. So then it's like, damn, this blood on my dick. Now see. So that that's the worst blood part. Blood on the leaf. That's, that's the, the worst, worst part. part of having the mule. That's the worst part. Then the second worst part is as soon as you bust a motherfucker up and they come 10, 15 bust it times. Up? Nah, they just go to it, but they ain't told you. I, that's my shit. You hear me? Like, oh. You can't just you wake bust up the me next up 15 day. times? You and with just, the mute? You can't just wake up and just be like, yeah, so I want you to meet my mom. Like, nah, I just Why met not? you. Because I, I just met you Tuesday. So you shouldn't have hit me with the mute 15 hey, times. See, no, that's, I that's, feel like that ain't a that's mule. Decision. That's a donkey. You hit somebody with the mute 15 yeah. times, and then you be confused why she want to introduce you to her, her mom? Well, I mean, at least you should let a nigga know that, though. Maybe. You can't just wake up and just create well, the relationship. Well, you hit me with the I thought it was uh, understood. I thought it was understood. Hey, but you know. Okay, so let me ask you this. Because I know we gonna move on. Understand. Can you sometimes not hit somebody with a mule but still have sex because you want to get your rocks off? No. So every time you hitting them with a the mule. Well, I mean, like, I'm an entertainer. Mm-hmm. So you go in there with some bullshit. Like, it ain't going to be online within an hour. Cause I've seen that a lot. I've seen that a whole lot. Cause I've had some. I've had some questionable roommates, mm. uh, women in my day, mm -hmm. that are very uh, social media uh, famous. Mm -hmm. And I've heard it too many times coming from upstairs. I can't believe I waited six months for this bullshit Ooh. type shit. And I'm like, yeah. So even if it ain't a situation where I was. I'm feeling this situation. I know if I go in this motherfucker half cocked, if I go in this bitch half cocked, I'm finna be on Twitter. Like, yeah. boy, this nigga, uh, Vienna Sausage, uh, Limp McDermott, or whatever it is. Limp McDermott? And it can't, and it can't be that because you an entertainer. That's just like if somebody come on and just be like, man, you know what? Bitch, bitch shit sandpaper dry. Like, I cut my, I cut my dick skin trying to go in. Like, Do pussy really be like that though? Do it really be sandpaper dry? Yeah, yeah, that should be. I mean, everybody like everybody ain't lubed accordingly. You know that, what I'm saying? That's true. Everybody don't. But then again, you, you know how y'all would be like, well, I ain't feel a nigga, so I ain't I ain't lubricate. I mean, that it, is it be, true. That it be the same with us. Motherfucker got to sit there and like, damn, I just I really don't like this bitch, and I'm just damn. Let me think about another bitch. So y'all do that for I real? I think everybody Shit, does that. Y'all do that for real, too. Yeah, everybody does that. Do everybody that has too. thought about somebody else when they was having sex. Y'all do that, too. That Getting that true. motherfucking just, oh, I hate this bitch, Holly Berry. Yeah. Not Holly Berry. Now that I know why he Holly wrote Berry. that song. Then you just, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. You think about the person you with, your shit all the way just. 
Okay, so now that we know that you that every time that you are having intercourse, you hitting people with the mule. So does that mean you have to be picky about who you have sex with? No. No. Yes, you do, because when you, just... you hit her with a mule and she act batshit crazy. But you don't know it's, she going to act batshit crazy until after the hit Right, that's why you got to be picky. But you get, but everybody got a crazy performance, though. I think every girl, no I, think bitch, I think too. crazy bitches, you know they crazy. You, you don't know that they crazy. That's the one you really can't tell. Mm. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, man, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, and everything in this net. Yeah, just, oh, yeah, I like those, too. Can you make me one? Okay, cool. Here you go. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Can, can oh, cool. This not happened to you before. He pegged. Oh, he got he it got down the pegged. You feel me? Them bitch nut ten times, and all you that shit out the window. You keep going that out there that like that's normal. But see, the thing about for it women, is, women, it's not. The, the thing, the thing about it is though, for when you most men, you. when they like you for real, it is normal. Because mm, if they mm, like you for real, you're going to be able to be like, bitch, that didn't get off me. They trying to hit We're this We're not spike. trying to get off you because we like you. And we want to we wanna fuck, wanna fuck the dog shit at you so you don't go over here fucking with this nigga. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So if you ain't got that, then the nigga ain't really like you. That's so, true. Have you been hit with the mule? I know that's right. <laughs> that's that smile. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that smile that's again. That smile. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let us know I in the comments. Agree. I'm actually interested. Who done been hit by the mule? And if y'all think the mule is the same thing as voodoo, because I do. I do, too. I think the mule and voodoo is the same. It goes hand shit. in. They cousins. Drink voodoo. Ah! So <laughs> it is. It's really good. So now we going to get into, into the bop. Hey. The bop. Hey. The bop. Bow. 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 Mm. This is one of my favorite segments, because I be, you know, I love to put the girls on. So, um, my bop this week is crazy because I'm an R&B girl. I'm, like, super R&B heavy. But as of recently, I've just been trying to get in my bag lately. Like, you know, we're about to go on tour. I'm trying to, mm. like, really get in that mode. Like, yeah, I'm about to fuck, I'm about to fuck the streets up. Mm. I've been listening to sure. Payroll Giovanni. Mm -hmm. That nigga hard as fuck. He got that motivation music, like... I swear, if you don't finish listening to that nigga music and you don't go at least make some kind of money, yeah. you pussy. You, or yeah. you just ain't got it in you. You ain't got it in you. Like, yeah. if you don't want, if you don't feel mode, and I like that. I'm like, okay, I get the motivation music. So, my bop of the week is Feel How I Look by Payroll Giovanni. It's a, it's a bop. It's gonna, like, if you jam that song, you're gonna wanna, like, you're gonna feel like you that bitch, you that nigga, you're gonna put that shit on, and you're gonna step outside like, yeah, I did my big one. Mm. Period. Mm. That's what I listened to before a karaoke night. That's why we ate that up. Ate that okay. shit up. Sold out. Her okay. usual. Mm -hmm. okay. So what you been listening to, Zero? I be listening to me. As you should. I be listening to That's me. That's what you supposed to but do. But I be listening to shit y'all ain't heard yet, though. Okay. Like, like what? So what's, like, the new stuff that we ain't heard like or, like, old stuff we Yeah, heard? yeah. Like Give some... us a song we should look out for. New nigga. New okay. nigga. And that yeah. ain't dropped yet. Nah, it's gonna drop on my new album. Okay, okay. So yeah. new nigga, y'all look out for that. But what can they go listen to? Okay, so right now, yeah, mm -hmm. they can go listen to Pressure. Pressure. If I'm gonna have to say was my bop off of Pressure right now, I would have to say that's me. Mm -hmm. I had to say two of them. No, that's me and uh, live it up. Live it up. Okay. You know, I stole a new edition shit and did my thing with it. Ooh. Yeah, Dignity. thief, thiefness, and that whole was. Did what it did. So if somebody has like never heard of your music, they don't know who you are, you're a complete stranger to them right now. Are mm. those the songs you would tell them to go listen to? Or it, it would depend on see, I'm a critique the stranger. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if they a younger dude or a younger chick that's kind of like, I'm gonna be like, man, go check out that's me. Okay. Because you're a dumb, young, crazy motherfucker <laughs> like how I was. Right, right, right. But if you on some, hey, I'm up, I got my money up a little bit, I'm a little older, mm -hmm. i fuck somebody up, but it's in Jesus' name and not in the name of the Glock type shit, I Amen. say go do it, we live it up. Okay. okay. Yeah, I say go do it, that check out, live it up. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Drea, what you been jamming? <sighs> Come on, man. Give it to us. What is it? What I'm going to say? Girl, honestly, I don't know what dropped this week because I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna be somebody I've been, I'm gonna be like, oh, I should have guessed that. Thanks. So Nicki Minaj. Me oh. <laughs> how? I knew when she said that. I was like, oh, brother. 
<laughs> you knew I was gonna like the song when she said knee how? Yes. Why? Because somebody had posted the reason that she said that, because I guess it means something like number one. No, and, it means hello. Or, well, no, they were saying it was like a double entendre where she was saying something, and it means something else, like yeah. a number one. And she, like, retweeted it. I was like, oh, Drea's going to, like, <laughs> be like, yeah, number one. Literally. Mm. Bitches just He's don't understand. I'm number one. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, so, Nicki Minaj came out with Red Ruby the Sleeves over the weekend or right. over, like, the past week since we haven't recorded. And I love this song. I love it. And it's very much like how you were saying, like, the payroll Gia Money song just make you feel like you that nigga. Yeah. You that girl. You that I feel like that's how that song is. Not, not obviously not for niggas, but right. as a woman. And it's a classic. You listen too. to it, it makes you feel like you that girl. And yes, it's over the Luma DB. And then and what that was that? Was a, I'm not gonna lie, she had a bar in that song. What? She said, um, pull out the desert eagle if your nigga get super bold. And it was now, like, why was that your favorite line? Because it was a double on because she was like, Desert Eagle, the Eagles just won the Super Bowl, but she was like super bold. It was like, it okay. was fire. Okay. Like that's the stuff, that, like she got back to her old bag. Like, yeah. I was like, okay, when I heard it, I was like, okay, Nikki. No, and that's what I was going to say. It just felt like old Nikki. Yeah, like, not is. to say that, up. and not to make it seem like none of, like, any of her recent music over the past few years hasn't felt like old right, Nikki. Right. But I felt like this song was really giving, like, itty bitty piggy vibe. Yes, okay. You know? That was a good example. It, it was, was really giving itty bitty piggy vibe. Okay. So, I'm fucking with it. I love it. It's about to be summertime. Ooh, and we the, it, it definitely got the captions. And, <sighs> yeah. I'm I love a good it. caption. Okay, so zero. I know, I know you not, you did not listen to Red Ruby the Sleeves <laughs> on your way here. Mm. So, are there any female rappers that you were like, okay, she got it? I happen to have one on my label. Okay. By the name of Lolita Monroe. Got you. And she hard in the motherfucker. Okay. She hard in the motherfucker. Man. I'm gonna check it out now, yeah. and I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. Okay. It's, 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 it's Poe Minds. <laughs> and speaking of songs, you know Lex was in one of your videos before. Oh. I just had to throw that out there. I could not I miss we this opportunity. We were almost there. You thought. What for you? Swinging through the south side last night, baby. <laughs> oh, no shit. Oh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was high. <laughs> she was in that video was, coming out the water. High. Like, I was she had up. a cameo. Oh, I was fucked up too. But it's crazy because let me tell you what happened. When I we... got robbed at the video shoot. That's crazy. Robbed? Well, I ain't get robbed. Somebody broke my car. Oh. I, I was about to robbed. say, oh my goodness. So I was it was... in a video with you too, though. Mm. Back in the day. See, exactly. It wasn't just me. We was both what, out was here. That, what was the name of that song? Cups up, top down. Top Perko? down. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, it was yeah, her was, too. It wasn't just me. Summertime was fire. Not you was high at every video shoot. I'm high at everything. Are you, you high, high right, right now? <laughs> Do you ever get nervous? <laughs> no. Hell so no. So listen, listen. I can't get nervous. The summertime video, it was crazy because we first brought it up on the show maybe like a year and a half ago. And we were talking about it, and literally all the listeners went to the video and were like, here because of Piro, <laughs> here because of Poor Minds. I was like, y'all going to think, this man going to be like, what the fuck? I was so, because I, obviously you didn't see it. I was like, I'm so glad he didn't see this shit. Because it's literally, mm -hmm. literally one second. Yeah. I'm like coming out the pool. Glistening. nobody wanted to get in the pool. I oh, you was glistening. Okay. I was glistening. It was okay. just literally one second. They and probably it's funny. couldn't swim, Lee. But it was so crazy because like they, we went on, and like they wanted girls to get in the pool, and nobody would get in the pool. I was like, I'm getting this motherfucker. I was drunk. I was like, I'm about to have a ball. I knew I wasn't about to be the main girl. I ain't had no ass then. <laughs> wow. I'm through. You got it. You got it My now, though, oh, sister. God. Okay, so now we're going to get into the item of the week. Okay. Wow. Yes. So I, I am so happy about the item of the week this week. Let me grab it. Okay, so for the item of the week, our favorite girl, Ty, got us a gift. And what's great about it is that if y'all want this, y'all can order this online as well. So it's like, what do we call it? The So Mixy Kit? Yes, this is our mix kit. And okay. so inside you have three syrups. I know y'all love the jalapeno mm -hmm. and y'all love the lavender. So you have that one. And then I added the hibiscus spice too. Ooh. And then you have a black-owned wine brand okay. called Michael Lavelle. 
Got some rosé. They have, and I'll give you their website so you guys can go and purchase this online. But they have a rosé and mm -hmm. they have a red blend. But you have everything in there, including the recipe cards, so mm -hmm. you can craft the cocktails using the syrups. I love this because I feel like you know, That's a if you're if you have guests <laughs> over, and honestly, this is good for the guys too because if you have a little, yeah. you know, a little one two over at the house, make her a little mixed one two, and then it has all the fancy garnishes. Mm -hmm. She got the lavender sugar in here. So yes, it's so mixy dot com, yep. right? S -O -M -I -X -X -Y. So make m i x x y. Yeah, a garnish. You know, like when they put the little garnish, lemon, the lime. That grapefruit is a garnish. Oh, yeah. fruit. That's okay, fruit. Yeah, oh, but it's dehydrated, so it'll last longer. And yes, mm -hmm. thank you, Ty, for this. And also, like she said, you can get it from That's so great. mixy dot com. This is amazing. Thank you, Ty. Yes, thank you, Ty. I'm so excited That's to how you use know mine black too because I literally. In the motherfucker. That's you said what's freaky? You said what? That's a whole coochie kit. Like, hey, it is a coochie kit. That's what I was gonna say. Did she put some condoms in there? And because you, she gonna finish, get a little wild. Why you gonna get hit with the music? Yeah. Oh. No but no, I'm super excited to use mine because I just got my bar at my house and I've been needing like mm -hmm. stuff to like fill it up with. So I'm excited to like put my my syrups and my little wine up there and my garnishes. And jar and shot glass in there too. And Ooh. bottle open. I forgot those are in there. Yep. So you got love a little, me a shot glass. Yeah. Enjoy. I know y'all love shots. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank no. you, Ty. We like to get straight to the point. You know, no calories. <laughs> exactly. Low calorie. Okay. So what we got next, Drea? So, now it's time to get into our favorite segment of the show, which is, you know, Ask Poor Minds. Yes. Pour your heart out. Mm -hmm. So, you can go to askpoorminds at gmail.com. That's A-S-K-P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S at gmail.com. If you have any questions that you would like to send to us, or if you just want to send in your testimonials and let us know, you know, if, if we, we fuck, fuck shit up. Us. Go ahead, send this shit in. Keep it at a paragraph, too, because y'all been writing essays. It bench. definitely be very lengthy. Y'all seen how Marco did. Yes, it, it be a little lengthy sometimes. But we love y'all. We fuck with y'all. We appreciate the question. So, yes, Lex, I think you have question number one. I do. Zero, do you feel like you give good advice? Of course. Okay. okay so, y'all right. so getting some advice from Zero out. today. Yeah. Okay, so the question says, Hey, Lex and Drea, I'm a loyal 24-year-old viewer from Chicago. Shout out, Chicago. I watch purely for shits and giggles because I'm a whole-ass lesbian. But can you ladies start talking about starting a business and doing something that your friend has been doing years before you? I do makeup and hair for my very close family members. And my mom keeps telling me I should do it to make money. But my best friend of 16 years has been doing makeup since 2016. I personally think that's her niche, but I should and I should just support her. I always recommend people to her. I think it would be weird to start doing makeup out of nowhere, and it's also not my passion. I think it's a respect thing since she's more like a sister to me. What are your thoughts on this scenario? Love you, ladies. Keep being beautiful. Anonymous. Mm, I feel like getting money ain't above like nobody. Like I don't feel like I should not do something if I'm if I'm good at it and mm -hmm. I can make money from it. Like I get her saying it's not your passion, but I feel like you should not do something just because your friend been doing it for a longer period of time mm -hmm. and you feel like you could potentially be better at it. Mm -hmm. You know, because at the end of the day, it's a lane for everybody. Right. And that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to take her customers. Right. But if you could make money doing something, why not do why not? it? It's hard out here, like especially right now. You know, what you know with the pending recession it's hard. and the economy is fucked it's up. Hard. Like people gotta get it how they can get it. And I just feel like if you good at something and it's a trade that you're well versed in, why not make money from doing it? Agreed, a hundred percent. Fuck the fact that we. I mean, me and Lex have friends that we've been cool with, and we all do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But we yes. wasn't like, oh, I'm not gonna have a podcast because you got one. How you mm. feel? I feel the same way. Yeah. Because, I mean, uh, if it wasn't for that, I mean, we all know that New York started rapping. Mm hmm So if we had that mindset, it wouldn't be no Houston, Atlanta, or mm -hmm. Cali. Right. It'll just be New York right now. Because so, they definitely I mean, stop hip hop the hip to the hip to the hop till you don't stop. My bad, y'all. God damn. Still, another hard female rapper out there that's, that's necessary. Necessary. That was necessary. That's I like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's my home girl. I'm I'm a drink with. And happy birthday to her. But, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, Shout out be, to you. Necessary. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> this is yeah. my mindset on it. I feel like 
if you see a Chipotle on the corner, they still gonna build that Chick Fil A across the street. Yep. Of course. There is something for everybody. Like you're never gonna take away from her clients. Let me mm -hmm. tell you, I've had so many. Like I get my lashes done, I get my hair done. There be new lash checks and hairstyles that pop up every day, and they create a mass following. I'm not leaving Dee Dee. I'm not leaving. I'm Jay. not leaving Jay. I'm not leaving Jay. Like that's just is. That what is it our is. lash girl. We that love is our her. lash girl. You know, Dee Dee does yeah. my hair. Like it just is what it is. People like what they like. There's a lane for everybody. And if your friend was a true friend, she's not gonna feel no way about it. I think you should tell her. You don't want to just pop up with a business. I think whenever you're starting a business, you be like, hey, because she could probably give you some advice. If she's a real friend, she gonna put you on the money and give you advice. Mm -hmm. To be honest, and a lot of times these makeup artists that are super booked, anybody, they'll she'll probably give you her overflow like hey I can't do your makeup this day I'm not available but check out this girl mm -hmm. you know it's it's just too much money out here to be for her to be upset so go ahead and do it girl yeah uh, it's like with social media and everything it's really a lane for everybody mm -hmm. and everybody can have their own audience and their own clientele Big move. I feel like a good friend will definitely support you and that's not something you should be worried about because if a friend if somebody is really your friend it doesn't matter if y'all do the same thing Thanks. It's not gonna affect y'all friendship. Cause if, mm. And if she has a problem with it, she might be an associate. She might be, a, or she might mm. be a hater. That's question mm. number two. Go ahead, little Drea. Hey, Drea and Lex. I am a 21 year old college student. My boyfriend read my journal, which Ooh. had a few things in there that he didn't like, such as me thinking he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course, he ain't like that. But <laughs> <laughs> she said, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, we ain't not got even, no advice oh, for this. Oh, we're not even done yet. I'm okay, so as far as him thinking, as far as me thinking he was gay, thinking his dick was small, and saying that he didn't really have any shoe game. Girl, why is you with that nigga? The, <laughs> these were just thoughts that I had. I know it was shallow, and nobody was ever meant to read them. Afterwards, he started being distant and our relationship is not the same. He says every time he looks at me, he thinks about what he read in the journal. What should I do? I keep trying to pursue a relationship with him. No, should I try to keep pursuing a relationship with him or should I just call it quits? Thanks, guys. Now, once you Girl, insult you like a nigga's nigga. shoe game, that shit is a wrap. He ain't got no mule. He ain't got no shoes. <laughs> Girl, you don't like that man. Like, and he should feel... How, this is what we were talking about earlier. You and make, you think he liked the mule. Right. You think he liked the mule. You men and women have some pride. Why do y'all stay in these situations? You low-key don't like him. You think, you know, he might be gay. You don't like his shoes. And he ain't hitting you with the mule. Girl, move on. This is not your person. And for him to read how she really feels about you and for you to stay, have some fucking pride and confidence about yourself. Because your relationship ain't going to never be the same. Because like you said, these were your thoughts that you had that you didn't ever plan Private on nobody thoughts. seeing. So this is really how you feel for real. <laughs> and that nigga knows this is really how you feel. That nigga, that nigga got on some Puma. She was mad as fuck. Nah, that nigga got on Sketches. <laughs> nah, he got on some Felines. Yeah, oh, so mm -hmm. how would you feel if you read a girl's journal and it had some crazy shit in there about you? I'm going to jail. When I load my AK. I ain't got to worry about the, <laughs> the dick part, but or the shoes part. Because he say he keep a fresh pair. I ain't got to worry about none of that shit. But man, that's, that's so <laughs> disrespectful. Like, you got to just go after that. Right. You can't really just. You can't, I agree. She wanted you to find that shit. That's what you, you think? think? So? I don't think so. I think she probably didn't. Don't no girl want her nigga to find that she thinks If she's she talking about the nigga gay, and this what she got to fuck every day, she want that nigga to see that shit. Because mm. she want that nigga to be like, am I gay? <laughs> she want him to check himself so he can figure that. <laughs> Because if you figure that, this shit might stretch a little bit more. Like, I'm I don't sorry. Know. If I ever think that a man is, like, not I'm into leaving. me sexually or he, like, I don't have a problem with that because I don't care about your sexuality, but let's just part ways. Because I feel like if I'm not turning you on, because I feel like the only way you would think that because something is going on in y'all's sex life, right? I don't think it's him. You think it's her? You think she ready to dip? Listen to this motherfucker talking. I had to go to my Snoop Dogg voice, but <laughs> like, you, like you hear what she's saying on this motherfucker? Yeah. Okay, so he tripping because I said he was gay. His shoes weak, <laughs> and he got a little dick. Like that's life right there. That's everything.
That's, that's literally everything. Person. That's everything niggas care about. That is. That's why I said it's, it's when you insult a nigga shoe game, oh ain't no coming God. back from that. Niggas but when love. you tell the world though, yeah, that this nigga shit on some alopecia. Nah, and you know man. she told her friends. Yeah. Because she's already and, confided in her friends about it. Then, so now when you come around, the friends are probably now like... His, now his whole penis is famous. Mm. Hey, little dick nigga with the sketches on. See, see what I'm saying? <laughs> see what I'm saying? So Yeah. Oh, yeah. they be like this. Hey, they little dick nigga over with sketches on. They need to fight right now and just get that shit over with. Not fight. See, we don't promote fighting I don't mean physically. Here. I mean, like, they need to go and hash that shit out. Oh, okay. Because, uh... He can't do nothing after that. I really don't even think they need to argue. I think they just need to break up. I just up. think they need to break up. Yeah, y'all, you need to break up with him. Y'all are not compatible. Up. From everything yeah. that you said, like, that is not a nigga that Damn. you can really see yourself with. What? What is it? Oh, it's just a cold combination. Your dick and your shoes. The dick and the shoes. You got to have either or. You got to have you, one. And you... I don't even want to say the G word no more, but you the G word and your dick and your shoes. It's okay to say gay. You can say gay. Yeah, you can nah, say gay. I don't, I don't want my DMs to be fired up. Like I'm that. weak. Okay, okay. So we, y'all know we about to get into my favorite segment. But, so Zero, let everybody know what you got going on, where they can find, well, they, obviously they can't find you, but how they can follow you on social media, you know, where they can find your music at, all that good stuff. Yeah, man, y'all can follow me on Instagram, Z underscore R-O, Zero, Mo City Done on Twitter, for the motherfuckers who can't spell, Z-O-O-M-O-C-I-T-Y-D-O-N. Zero Mo City on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, God of War coming soon. Hope y'all like it. And if y'all don't like it, I really don't give a fuck. I'm going to put it out anyway. And thanks for the support. See, this is why I like Zero. This he don't is, give a fuck it, about that's nothing. That's how I be. I don't give a fuck. About nothing. You ain't got to like guns. it. You know what? I'm not going to lie, though. I it's took some Ty good. Ty did this shit. Top, that's you what we say it, every huh? episode. You know what's going to be lit. so crazy? <laughs> I drunk all the way up here. Now I'm drinking sitting down. I'm finna drink away from here. Ooh. And when I get, when I'm finna go, I'm finna re-drink. So Come on, going not on. a re-drink. That's a new word. Uh, I like that. I'm going to re-drink. You know what's so crazy about Ty? When this, like, when we do, you know, what we want to do with this show, mm. Ty's going to be a hot commodity because people don't understand how good these drinks yeah, are. No. And the way we talk They're about so these good. drinks, people going to want them yeah. so fucking bad. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, Ty. Appreciate. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what these other shows try to pay you. You here. I, she moins. Nick, Period. Uh, whole ad, Nick. A whole uh, really. lot of gang shit. Yeah. All yeah. right, so we about to get into the karaoke, y'all. Y'all want to see this, so stay tuned. Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we are here to talk to y'all about GoodDaySense.com. Yes, I love me a good candle. And Good Day Sense candles smell so good. And they're soy-based candles. My fave. So there's Delicious. nothing better than getting your house super clean, mm -hmm. mopping, sweeping, all that good stuff, and lighting a candle. And let me tell you, my favorite scent is black love. I like to manifest that in the air because that's what I want. Yeah. And so... And what, it's vanilla. You, I feel like you can never go wrong with the vanilla candle. I mean, it's fall time. That's the kind of scents we need. So also, you can use code P-O-U-R, that's pour and get 25% off of your order. So go to gooddaysense.com and get your candle and use our discount code and have your house smelling good. Hey, what's up, it's your man Carlos Miller and April 15th I will be in Nashville at the War Memorial Auditorium. Yeah, pull up on me, act like you need me. And holler at the player when you see me. It's going down in Nashville, that's April 15th. Click the link, get those tickets. I ain't never let you down. Don't you let me down. Sell this shit out. Yeah. Tell them about the show, man. Oh, shit, my bad. I don't even know where we're going. Hey, April 30th, we will be in Denver, Colorado. Oh! Theater. Please, right. three-headed monster tour. Hey, you did not. Did I say it right? Yeah. Good, Denver. Yeah. Hey, what y'all got to put behind us on this green screen? They got to get to me. I ain't smoke nothing yet. What put behind us on the green screen? So that's three headed monster. Three headed monster. Put your bitch behind me. <laughs> put your bitch behind me. Three headed monster. <laughs> yeah. Denver, April 30th. We got a big storm coming from the left, and we're going to bring it down. It's called a three headed monster tour, and they're going to come in and they're going to sweep the whole city. Right, the left, that's the west. Put your bitch behind me. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look how I get done. We back. Yep. You bitch. Yeah. I really got a three-headed monster. Ooh. 
Okay, I go to the hospital. <laughs> I, I, I did. <laughs> D row and Z row. Come on, Javi. Three rows. Because we about to get <laughs> three, three rows. Oh, niggas <laughs> don't, don't have, have to fuck with me. Because I can do bad just being one deep. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's for my next election. Are you bitch ass, nigga? No. Are you bitch ass, bitches? This was dedicated to you. Because yeah. y'all motherfuckers ain't shit. I promise y'all ain't shit. Y'all niggas don't, don't have, have to fuck with me. Because I can do bad just being one deep. Y'all niggas don't have to fuck with me. Zero, you supposed to zero, you supposed to zero, you Yeah. Zero! Zero! I fucked everything up, but hey. Hey, it don't give a it don't matter because he killed that shit. We outside. Cause y'all niggas don't have to fuck with us. Right. Ain't shout in the house. We'll see y'all next week. Bye y'all. Swim well.